Hi, and welcome to our continued coverage of CES 2012. Now, despite all the excitement about tablets, people still do make laptops, and we're here at the Toshiba stand to talk about the new laptop line. So, Mark Lackey, please keep talking to me about it. Well, we've been making laptops for over 20 years, so it makes it easier for us. I'm going to talk to you about the UltraBook. It's the Z835. Uh, this is a laptop that just keeps on giving. First off, the price point on this particular one is $799. Uh, as far as size, it's 0.62 inches uh, thin, uh, which is very thin, uh, and it only weighs 2.5 pounds. Uh, still being thin, it uh, retains a lot of the ports on the back. One of the most difficult ones to find in an Ultrabook is an RGB. If you walk around the rest of the show and you look at some of the other Ultrabooks that's out there, you're not going to find uh, RGB on the majority of them. Uh, HDMI is great for the consumer, but when you're a business guy, when you walk into a conference room, usually what's handed to do your project projector is, is an RGB uh, port. Uh, you still have two USB ports, uh, HDMI 3, and then a uh, full-size SD uh, card. So it's very thin, still fully functional. On top of that, uh, backlit keyboard that is also spill resistant, as well um, and then you're not going to be able to get this on camera but I'd like you to be able to see it but the speakers on this are phenomenal uh, it's got uh, when you anything you do when you make things smaller or lighter you go to uh, you usually you lose sound because yeah. you lose yeah. that bass what they did with this is they dropped the speakers back they're box speakers and then they channeled them out so you get still get remarkable sound they also had it tuned by max audio where they were able to get uh, great sound enhancements with it so you see me kind of slapping around it's on still it robust well it, it's a very i don't want to call it a dur durable machine but it has a ssd drive so you don't have to worry about it being you know mishandled where the hard drive is going to skip or anything like that uh, so the base configuration on this is a uh, intel core i3 mm -hmm. uh, 128 gig ssd and then four gigs of ram right um, I noticed that Toshiba have been developing a lot of, of glasses-free TVs. Do they do any glasses-free laptops? Oh, they do. That's a great segue. That's over there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and poof, magically we're over here at Glasses 3, uh, Glasses-free 3D. What we have here is a Cosmeo X or F755. Uh, it's the world's first glasses-free 3D system. It's out on the market now. Uh, how it works is very intuitive on how it works. It takes a webcam, tracks the user and then uh, maximizes the sweet spot of where the 3D is going to work. Uh, it works with a dual parallax screens, uh, and it basically just shifts the image back and forth. So whoever the viewer is, it's an individual use, uh, can see uh, the 3D. So right now we have 3D. Uh, nobody's really locked in because both of us are standing on side to side. But I'd like to show you the tracking device, how it, how it works out. If I jump out of here, uh, and now this is just for a demonstration, just so you can kind of see the tracking device, how, how it works. You see the little Superman mask it gives me? Uh, and then as I move my head side to side, it will adjust the screen back and forth. Not the physical screen, but the image back and forth, so you get the maximum 3D uh, vision. So uh, anybody that jumps in there, as soon as you jump out, the screen goes back, uh, and then you jump back in and it will grab that user. Very intuitive and very uh, innovative on how it works. And what's the resolution then when you're watching glasses? Well, when, uh, when you're watching, the, the screen resolution on regular is 1080p. But when you go into a glasses free, it goes into a 720p. Just because of the technology that's there, it's 720p. Well, thank you very much, Mark. Very exciting technology. Yes.